The F-35 Lightning II, hailed as America's most advanced, most lethal, and most expensive fighter jet in history. A stealth aircraft designed to dominate in the skies, equipped with cutting-edge radar-evading technology, AI-powered systems, and an unparalleled ability to strike deep behind enemy lines. It's a machine so complex that over a dozen allied nations have staked their future air power on it. But behind this high-tech marvel lies a troubling pattern. Crashes, emergency landings, groundings, software bugs, mechanical failures. Even in recent days, one F-35 made an emergency landing during a showcase in India and sat idle for days, unable to take off. Just days later, a U.S. Navy F-35C crashed near its base. The pilot survived, but the questions didn't. From its very first test flights to frontline deployments, the F-35 program has seen over 20 major mishaps. Not counting the countless minor incidents, groundings, and fleet-wide maintenance alerts. So why is the world's most expensive warplane, a project costing over $1.7 trillion, still facing breakdowns and crashes more than a decade after entering service? In this video, we dig deep into why the F-35 keeps crashing, why it's not always mission-ready, and what this means for the future of air power across the globe. The F-35 Lightning II stealth fighter jets have faced consistent crashes, malfunctions, and technical issues due to a combination of inherent design complexities, ongoing development challenges, and logistical support problems. These issues persist despite the aircraft being a cornerstone of the U.S. military's fleet and its advanced stealth and combat capabilities. Recent F-35 Incidents A Royal Navy F-35B was stranded at an Indian airport for over a week following a hydraulic failure. The aircraft, part of the UK's Carrier Strike Group 25 for Operation High Mast, made an emergency landing at Tiruvanantapuram International Airport in southwest India after participating in joint exercises with the Indian Navy. Initially, it was reported the jet was low on fuel, but Indian media later confirmed a hydraulic failure, which prevented it from being refueled and sent on its way. A maintenance team from the Royal Navy warship was dispatched but could not resolve the issue, leading to a larger team from the UK being expected to travel to Kerala. The F-35B remained exposed in an open area of the airport with round-the-clock protection, as the Royal Navy rejected an offer to move it to a hangar due to concerns about sensitive technology exposure. The aircraft eventually departed from the airport on July 22, 2025, heading towards Darwin, Australia, with the expert team following on July 23, 2025. This incident marked the second F-35B accident for the Royal Navy following a crash into the Mediterranean Sea during the 2021 deployment of HMS Queen Elizabeth. Additionally, a U.S. Navy F-35 Sea Fighter jet crashed in Central California near Naval Air Station Lemoore on July 30, 2025. The pilot successfully ejected safely, and the cause of the crash is currently under investigation. This crash was the second F-35 incident in 2025, with an Air Force F-35A also crashing at Eielson Air Force Base in Alaska in January during a training mission, where the pilot also ejected safely. An online database of F-35 accidents and mishaps shows 20 incidents involving the aircraft from 2014 to 2024. Technical and Operational Challenges The F-35 program has faced numerous deficiencies, with 857 identified, including seven considered critical. A report from the Director, Operational Test and Evaluation in January 2025 indicated that all F-35 variants failed to meet requirements for reliability, maintainability, and availability. The report stated that the operational suitability of the F-35 fleet continues to fall short of service expectations. Reliability and Maintainability Issues the F-35 has consistently struggled to meet its reliability and availability requirements. The program expects the F-35 to fly only a couple of hours between breakdowns, with a requirement of two hours of mean flight hours between unplanned maintenance events for the F-35, one and a half hours for Marine and Navy variants. Even these modest requirements are often not met, which is deemed unacceptable. Logistics Footprint Problems 
The logistics footprint for land-based F-35 deployments exceeds requirements by approximately two times the number of C-17 loads, primarily due to the size of support equipment. This means it takes longer to forward deploy F-35, as in requires more airlift resources, making those resources unavailable for other missions. For Marine F-35BS, the inability to fit required support equipment on amphibious assault ships poses an even more serious problem, potentially leading to deployments with less support equipment or taking space from other critical equipment. However, the F-35's logistics footprint does meet the requirements for deployment on CVN-class aircraft carriers. Autonomic Logistics Information System, ALICE, malfunctions. The Autonomic Logistics Information System, the backbone of F-35 maintenance support, has demonstrated poor usability and has hindered rather than facilitated effective maintenance operations. Efforts to reduce high false alarm rates in ALICE have not yielded significant progress with new aircraft software loads or hardware versions often producing new false alarms that the prognostic health management system filters lag behind. While ALICE is scheduled to be replaced by the Operational Data Integrated Network System, ODIN was not included in recent tests, and its initial phase, which will migrate existing ALICE software to the cloud, is not scheduled until 2025. Stealth Capability Maintenance Maintaining the F-35 stealth features or low observability of aircraft signatures has proven difficult, with these features being at least partially inoperative during much of the testing. For instance, all F-35A sorties were flown with aircraft that had a non-compliant low observability signature, and 4 out of 5 F-35B aircraft, 80% of individual sorties, were also non-compliant. This raises questions about the feasibility of maintaining stealth capabilities even under benign conditions. Gun Accuracy Issues The F-35's gun has suffered from design and installation issues, affecting its ability to hit targets. While recent software releases may address targeting information, fundamental physical issues with the gun's accuracy remain unresolved, likely requiring months or years to fix in both existing and new F-35As. What are the specific design complexities that contribute to F-35 crashes? The F-35's design complexities contributing to crashes stem from its highly integrated, multi-role approach, which pushes the boundaries of various systems, and the ongoing challenges in software development and structural integrity. These factors complicate maintenance and can lead to cascading technical failures. Inherent Design Complexity the F-35 is designed to integrate the functions of multiple aircraft platforms into a single airframe, leading to an exceptionally complex design. This all-in-one approach has pushed the limits of avionics, stealth, propulsion and sensor fusion, making the aircraft difficult, time-consuming, and expensive to maintain. Even minor failures in its intricate systems can escalate into larger issues, increasing the likelihood of crashes. Software is critical to modern weapon systems, including the F-35, but its development continues to be problematic. The F-35 Joint Strike Fighter software development is considered one of the largest and most complex projects in the Department of Defense's history. Developing, testing, and integrating software, mission systems, and logistics systems pose significant technical risks to the aircraft's operational effectiveness and suitability. The F-35 program has faced challenges in meeting schedule and performance timelines for developing and testing software, with no improvement noted in a January 2025 report by the Pentagon's test director. Software issues can limit the aircraft's performance, affecting its speed, maneuverability, and stealth capabilities. For instance, a software glitch in the Stavel flight control logic was identified as the cause of an F-35B crash during vertical landing trials in December 2022. Similarly, a software fault, likely a cascading failure in the navigation system, caused an F-35B crash in September 2023. Another crash in October 2022 was attributed to an air data system failure that fed corrupted sensor information to the flight control logic due to wake turbulence, leading to a loss of control. Structural and Mechanical Vulnerabilities The F-35 has been plagued by structural issues, including early airframes being vulnerable to premature cracking. 
mechanical failures, particularly in the engine and fuel systems, have also contributed to incidents. For example, an F-35A caught fire during takeoff in June 2014 due to a fractured third-stage rotor arm in the engine's fan module, which cut through critical components and led to a catastrophic fire. A USMC F-35B crashed in September 2018 due to a catastrophic engine flameout caused by a defective fuel tube rupture. Corrosion fatigue cracks have also been identified as a root cause in some aircraft accidents, although the specific F-35 cases are not detailed in the provided passages. Aerodynamic and Control System Complexities The F-35's design, including its small wing configuration, makes it a relatively heavy platform. This design can pose challenges, especially in complex scenarios or when systems malfunction. For example, an F-35A crash in May 2020 was attributed to a combination of pilot error, a design issue with the oxygen system, a malfunctioning head-mounted display, and an unresponsive flight control system, compounded by the aircraft's complex nature. In the same incident, conflicting control inputs froze tail surfaces in a nose-down position, preventing the pilot from arresting oscillations. The F-35's control laws were designed to accommodate system failures, but their complexity can contribute to issues. Congressional Oversight Concerns A recent Defense Department decision to approve full-rate production of the F-35, despite serious unresolved issues, has raised concerns about Congress's access to information needed for effective oversight of major defense acquisition programs. A highly classified report from the Director, Operational Test and Evaluation, which detailed numerous deficiencies, was only briefly made available to the Senate and House Armed Services Committees. The rapid approval of full-rate production, about a month after the report's release, highlights the need for more effective congressional oversight. Laws like the Nunn McCurdy Act and the Operational Test and Evaluation of Defense Acquisition Programs Law are designed to ensure Congress has access to critical information, but congressional staff have had limited access and time with such reports.